Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So today, I have a new product from WoWo's. It is WoWo's Contact 121 Wax. This is what it looks like. It comes in a box like this. Order directly from the ragcompany.com. Now, I realize a white hood is a little difficult to see in a test. I am going to do this on a darker colored hood. But just give me a couple, you know, give me till like New York gets to about 50 degrees and I could do that for you guys. Right now, this is the car that I have clean. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of water beating. The nice thing about this wax is it has the 121 contact angle, which basically means that water should be completely repellent. Water should not stick to the surface at all. When I do this test, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and I'm going to show you guys the water beads and how well it comes off on the hood when I go ahead and apply. So what we're going to do is I'm going to zoom out and I have the hood split as you guys could see. So let me move the camera over. I'm going to conduct the test on, let's do it on this side of the hood with the wax and then this side we're going to leave clear. And we're going to be able to compare the water beading and everything else. This is what the wax looks like. And as it says in their directions, you're going to take a little. We're going to go ahead and apply. I can tell you guys just from the two seconds that I've been applying, I could already feel how smooth and how easy the surface, you know, how easy it is to move it across the surface of the vehicle. I got a question recently, should you apply it in, in a circular motion or should you apply it left to right? When I was taught to detail, they said both ways were okay. Actually, the instructor preferred the circular because he said that you were able to really work it in. So I do both. And as you guys can see, that side of the hood is done. I really didn't use up a tremendous amount of wax. A little bit went a long way. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the wax, which should be fairly easy because when it went on, it felt like it was very smooth already. Flip over the rag. Okay. Yeah, I definitely feel a difference. What I did was I ended up claying the hood because I do, if you guys follow my channel, you know most of my tests are done on the hood. I ended up clay barring it. It came off really easy. I feel a nice, smooth finish compared to the other side. You don't hear anything. You shouldn't really hear anything anyway, though, if the car was just clayed, but just to point that out, very, very smooth. I just want to show you guys an up close as much as we could see. Again, bear with me. We're going to have a video coming out that does this on a black hood. So, bear with me right now. If you guys were to look very closely, you could see I didn't put any right here, but I put some right here to show you guys the difference. You could see where the J is. And if you give it a quick wipe, it comes off with one wipe. So very, very easy application. All right, now, 
we're gonna grab the bottle of water and again I know that this isn't a hose but bear with me till it gets a little bit warmer in New York all right guys so here we go with the water test water should be yep basically going right off the hood we got some nice beads up here as you guys can see here it's basically dry towards the bottom of the hood water's going right off the hood and if I was to do a quick comparison in the middle you can see the difference here nice beading the beads are moving everything's flowing down you can see on this side the beads really aren't moving as much as the other side this side definitely has a lot more beads See how it's running down quicker on this side? Very, very nice. Basically dry, a lot of water beating. So yeah guys, this was the test. Show you guys an up and close. Nice big water bead here. Yes, both sides did bead, but I could see on the side that's treated with the 121 contact, it's definitely dry in certain spots. The water actually completely repelled in certain spots. You can see the beads are still running down as opposed to the side that's not treated where there was some beading but it's just kind of staying in place. This basically rushed right off the car and I do like the dry spots that I have on the hood. You can see towards the bottom, no spots. As we go up the hood, you see some bigger beads here, but majority of it stayed dry, which is what the product is uh, intended to do. It repelled a lot of water. If I take my drying towel now, and give it just a quick wipe. Dries in three passes. Very, very smooth to the touch. So this retails for about $59. I uh, am definitely very pleased with the product. I do think that it is indeed worth looking into. Um, again, I'm going to do a test on a black hood as soon as we get a decent day in New York. This was for the guys that have been requesting it. I highly recommend it. I'm going to give you guys some bonus footage inside the video. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you're returning, thank you. I have Zep Foaming Glass Cleaner. I'm going to go ahead and spray that on the window. I want to have this window spotless. before I'm going to take the... Woe's 121 wax. And look at that. See up here the window is dry. As you scroll down, a lot of the window is dry. And again, forgive me for the lighting. Again, this is coming on a darker car very soon. But as this was a requested video, I wanted to give you guys some bonus footage. 
of this and show that the product is very good.